G'day and welcome to another episode of the Meetup. It's Christmas edition. I can't remember what day it is, uh, but it is 12 days of Christmas and we're on one of them. Um, well, I think we're on eight, actually. Well, yeah, we'll go with eight, but I'm joined here with Chris and Nate from uh, First Street Meat Company Podcast. Um, doing a little uh, little three-way here. How are you guys going? Good. Thanks Good. for having me. That was a weird, a weird segue into a three-way, but um, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, um, I thought we would see. What's your favorite boy band, by the way? You guys, boy band. Mm. It's gone off. Uh, it's gonna be Backstreet Boys for me, baby. Backstreet Boys, baby. Well, I'm That's sorry, just I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this one is called uh, this little game we're gonna play is NSYNC podcast. Okay, posts. all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I just wanted to see uh, how in sync you two were with if oh. I were to, if I were to ask a question and then I'll go three, two, one, and then you both say the answer and then we'll okay. see how right. in sync you well, are. newlywed action. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> face, face behind each other and chair and uh, all that jazz. So I wrote down nine questions because uh, top 10 is overrated. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. Somehow. Um, all right. So this one is, I'm sure you guys are going to know this. It's, uh, what wood chips does good wood quality meats use to smoke their hams? Is it either, there's two two options, is it European beech wood or is it red gum? So three, two, one. Red gum. Red gum. You guys are in sync, but you guys are wrong. It's European <laughs> beech wood. <laughs> um, this is a true or false question. All right. All right. Is 80% of the bacon and the small goods consumed in Australia used imported pork? True or false? True. Oh, I thought we were counting down, but yeah, I was going to go true too. Yeah, that is, that is true. You guys are in sync. Yes. And I would try to make some kind of in sync joke, like, but I don't really know JT. I don't know the other guys' names. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, actually. Yeah. He's yeah. the only one that amounted to anything anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. This one. Lamp went to space, I think, but you know. Oh, okay. anyway, that's, that's pretty, that is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one is more of a open-ended question. So I don't have any answers for you. This is, this is have to come from your heart. Uh, mm-hmm. Favorite Christmas movie. And I will count down on this one. So this is to see if you guys are on the same page. Mm, so favorite Christmas not. movie. I'll give you a minute. To, <laughs> I'll give you a little couple of seconds to have a think. Mm-hmm. All right, three, two, one. Die Hard. Damn, <laughs> what did you say, Chris? I said Home Alone. Oh, they're both good movies, though. I, I knew you were going to say Die Hard, but I went against the grain. You son of a bitch! I knew you were going to say Die Hard. <laughs> you guys could have been three from three as well with the correct, uh, the same answers. I guess the correct <laughs> answer is not so much if you get the answer right; it's just if you That's... say the same thing. Yeah. So you guys could even open up the Zoom chat and just kind of go. Put the bloody answer in there, and <laughs> cheat. you could cheat. You don't win yeah. anything. So, um, all right. Uh, favorite Christmas singer? I've got. I've got two options for you: Mariah Carey or Michael Bublé. Mm. Are we, we counting? Are we just? Yeah, I'm going to count. It's Bublé. Yeah. It's Bublé. No, I did it. <laughs> Is it Bublé, Chris? That's Bublé. How is it not Bublé? How is it not Carey? His name's Bubble. <laughs> and then he tried to make it fancy i wrote bubble too <laughs> <laughs> all right i just got love from for for mariah i mean anyway. she's timeless for sure but like come on i guess she's only bubble. got one song though hasn't she one christmas song yeah she she does but it is the most listened to song ever written which is kind of crazy to me yes anyway she comes That's out of a kind cave. Of crazy that you know that off the top of your head. I think I heard it last year and I was so <laughs> blown away by that fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's an open-ended one again. Um, best thing to eat on Christmas Day. Mm. Think I'll give you a think about it. Oh, I mean, I know. Are we ready? We're going. Yeah. About three, two, one. Chinese Five, food. <laughs> well nate's jewish so oh okay well f- so chinese food yeah that makes yeah, sense fine. the best one 
Plus, like, I don't, I don't want to cook. I don't want to do anything. I just went through Christmas. I just did all the crazy, <laughs> like, uh, you know, the what hours you, at the shop, tying roast for everybody. I'm just like, I just want to, I just want to have someone else cook for me. <laughs> what did you say, Chris? I said prime rib. I, you know what? I thought everyone, I thought everyone was gonna say prime rib. I thought it was, yeah. uh, but, but that's just because that's the most American esque thing I can think of. Very stereotypical <laughs> thing that you're gonna eat on Christmas Day. <laughs> like, sure. We we don't do it here. Even the fact that I call it a prime rib, and it's mm. just like, yeah. But um, yeah, y'all eat it's it's ham, right? Yeah, ham. Seafood's big because it's it's warm here. So yeah, um, uh, shrimp with shrimp on the barbie. We don't call it shrimp though. That's just a crocodile Dundee thing. That's a misconception. <laughs> it's a prawn. I think it's because <laughs> isn't shrimp small in America? And yeah, then, like, prawns are generally to, bigger, right? It's supposed yeah. to be like oh, everything's bigger in bloody Australia or something like that. That's not a knife. Right. This is a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's a spoon um, what else uh, oh favorite drink to drink on Christmas oh yeah three two one beer whiskey <laughs> <laughs> started off so well god we're, <laughs> we're just meant for each other yeah imagine if you did this at a, at a wedding and all your answers were completely wrong. And then they just got divorced straight away. They're like, we're not, the, we're not the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nate. This is not going to work out. Oh, man. It's only been, <laughs> Jesus, how long? 10 years? Not even yeah. more. <laughs> Something like that. Jesus. Uh, worst thing to do at work at Christmas time, like the worst job to be doing. Oh. Okay. All right, we do we do a countdown? Sure. I'll do from two, one. Okay. Helping Help. customers. <laughs> helping customers. Yeah. I couldn't decide between helping customers and cutting turkeys. Yeah, <laughs> helping, like, isn't that the main thing at Christmas is to help customers? <laughs> yeah, but it's the same question over and over again. And like, there's something about handing someone like a five pound tenderloin roast and them having the, as they're accepting it from you being like, Oh, I cook this. Yeah. And you're just like, <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Do you guys have like love- a rule of thumb, like half hour per pound or something? Or like, I mean, I mean we go kilo of. per pound. That's just like, a I rule don't, of thumb. I don't personally tell a lot of people uh, like per pound time cooking. Um, I generally have them buy the meat thermometer that I'm selling for two dollars and thirty cents, and I'm like, cook it until the internal temperature is about buck twenty five, and take it out. And if you cut into it within five minutes, you should have a terrible roast. And shame on you. Let it rest. Mm. God damn it. It's a good little upsell yeah. there as well. Yeah. Buy the bloody <laughs> thermometer. Absolutely. Here's the <laughs> meat thermometer. It's it's absolutely ridiculous how many times I've told people to buy a meat thermometer for their like holiday roast, and they're like, eh. and I'm like. It's worth the five five bucks it's going to cost you to save this giant hundred and eighty dollar piece of meat that you're buying. Yeah, like, yeah, they, they don't they don't click, do they? It's like it's an investment. Like we sell them at work as well. Well, ours are like the instant read one. We I don't know they're like fifty or sixty bucks, but we're still like you know if you come in and buy a hundred eighty dollar roast or a hundred oh, sorry a hundred buck roast and you fuck it, yeah. like yeah. this this is going to pay for itself. The thermometer Absolutely. will pay for itself. Yeah, you're proud of yourself. You turned down this this advice from the person mm. who's selling you the meat. Yeah, mm. good job. Good job. Oh, well, they never used to use this stuff. It's because batteries weren't invented then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a this is a little true or false top operation. Um, a poor man's ham. Have you ever heard of that before? Mm. Okay, so yeah, true or false? A poor man's ham used to be a pickled legged goat, and then cooked. I'm going to say false. I'm going to go true. Oh. Well, you're not in sync. <laughs> but it is <laughs> false Damn. only because it's not a leg of goat. It's a leg of lamb. Ah, oh, I had a feeling. So it used to be, lamb used to be super duper cheap. So lamb used to be cheaper. This is before I was a butcher. It used to be cheaper than pork. So, and I guess because it's a bit smaller as well. So poor man's oh. ham, you used to pickle it, cook it. And that was what people had at Christmas. Nice. It was like 99 cents to buy a whole lamb or some ridiculous thing like that. That's insane. And then this is the last one. Top, this is the ninth because top nine is better. Have you ever heard of a pavlova before? Yeah. 
where was the origins? Was it Australia or New Zealand? Uh, I'm gonna say Australia. I'll go with Australia too. And I'm gonna say Australia too, but it depends who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask yes. a Kiwi, it come from New Zealand. So it's like uh, it's like Mel Gibson. Where did he come from? He came from New Zealand, but we claim him. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when he fucks up and does something terrible, he's a Kiwi. Oh, yeah. yeah he he's, makes he's, a good movie. He's an Aussie. Yeah. There you all, go. All, all four lethal weapons, Aussie. Aussie, yeah. He was yeah. he was an Australian at that point in time. Get the mm. gringo? Probably not, though. Nah. <laughs> when he threw the phone at someone? Was that him? Yeah. Yeah, he was a Kiwi. Uh, yeah, all, yeah. all the... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for playing. Um, thanks for playing uh, Butch's in sync, JT. Oh yes. Who's the other guy? Yeah. Is it Lance? 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 Pass. Yeah, Lance. We'll yeah, he was him. also yep. there. There were a couple others too. I don't there know. Was, they, they, did, they did a good job. No Backstreet Boys though. Yeah, no. they're just, I just, they're just better. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on Backstreet Boys too, but it, the <laughs> name worked for this game. So, so much. Better. <laughs> I couldn't work. <laughs> That's out what matters. A, a Backstreet Boys Christmas themed butchering game. But if you, <laughs> right. if you can come up with one, let me know. DM me, and let me know, and I'll. Yeah. We'll get we'll get the guys back on and we'll do it. I'll think real hard on it. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much for joining me on this uh, eighth day of Christmas. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us, man. Uh-huh.